This is a Fox Sports presentation. The Dallas Cowboys. Winners of three of the last four Super Bowls have had to overcome much adversity this NFL season. But on Thanksgiving Day against the Redskins, Emmett Smith broke out with a sensational performance, leading Dallas into a first place tie in the NFC East. This week, one more major setback, and the Cowboys must now put another obstacle behind them as the playoffs approach. Today, they travel west to Arizona against Boomer Esiason and the Cardinals, who look to keep their slim playoff hopes alive. Devil Stadium, the home of the Arizona Cardinals as the Cowboys come to town to face the Cardinals, a December game when it's stretch run time and a must win for both these teams. Pat Summerall here with John Madden and John, as they two, these two teams approach this, what do they have to do? Well, I think as you say, you play the, the whole season to get to this position where you can make it a three game season. And that's exactly what the Cowboys are doing now. But they have to take these three games to defend their championship. And the way they're playing on offense now, they're not going to make it. I think they have to get back. They have to get a balance. They would have to have a running game like they did against the Redskins, a passing game like they did against the Miami Dolphins. As far as the Arizona Cardinals, they've lost 12 straight to these Cowboys. And they aren't going to do it with their running game. Their defense is pretty good. But if they're going to have any kind of chance today, Boomer Esiason has to have a big day passing. Earlier today, prior to the national anthem, the entire NFL observed a moment of silence to honor the late commissioner, Pete Rozelle. And we'd like to share that moment with you. Ladies and gentlemen, on this past Friday, former NFL Commissioner Pete Rozelle died at his home in California. All of us will long remember his creative leadership of the National Football League and his interest in and service to NFL fans. At this time, we ask you to pause for a moment of silence in his memory.